This is Hank here from Free Podcast Tools, and I'm here with a little update on Audacity 3.1. So I find this really cool, this new update. First, I want to talk about the clip handles. So this little area up here that has the naming on it. And you can just grab that and you can just slide a clip around the way you need it. Uh, when that becomes really beneficial is if, let's say in here, I was going to uh, do some deleting here. So if I wanted to hit Control Alt X on the PC, now you see it got rid of that and left these two spaced perfectly. There's an option to make it so this would come over. But let's say I didn't go far enough and I wanted to keep going. Then you can just drag that on over. And then you could just move this independently if you needed to, any which way you need to. And what is cool about this is even after you've saved and stuff, all you got to do is just come back. Even the part you cut out, you can get back. I think that's really good for a free piece of software to implement this. So instead of that kind of a cut, I could also hit Control I on the PC. And then that would give me two separate cuts in here. So if I wanted to move that one this way. You know, if I wanted to move this just a little bit and then I wanted to move this back this way, you know, it, you got a lot of options and it's really cool that they've created this. And then if you needed to roll this over a little bit, you could roll this over, roll it over a little bit and have it all set up just perfectly whatever way you want. I find this to be effective when I want to add like little sound bites. Sometimes there's some just laughter or just something that can be deleted and then I can just tap that little sound bite in there just perfectly instead of creating a whole nother track. And remember when they used to have to move this up here, they had a little, it was like a little two-way arrow and you'd click that and then you had to move stuff and then you have to come back up to the selection tool and then you go back to editing. So it's really cool that now you have these handles. They've also added this little loop back feature, this little loop feature on off, which could be beneficial to some. And then I wanted to talk about the context menus. So if I right click here, so let's say I get on here and I right click, I, I have some options here. R real quick access instead of having to use my shortcuts or go through all this other stuff up here, I could just have access to, you know, not a lot, but just, just some of the stuff that I might want to have on hand. And I'm glad they added that. There's also options when you right click up here. You can make stuff happen up here. It's really cool. They really thought this out pretty well. There are some new defaults in preferences. So if you go into the preference area, then we'll go down to tracks, track behavior, editing a clip can move another clip. That, that was enabled. I disabled it, but you can enable or disable it any way you want. And then just come back out of there. You'd hit OK if you change something, but I did not. Another thing I wanted to talk about is some bug fixes. So they said that they updated some hot fixes. You know, they've been implemented. And that is as simple as the play button having a uh, couple pixels cut off to some larger bug fixes that would impact crashes. I Luckily enough, I've never had any crashes on there, but... Um, I'm glad they fixed that just in case. I'm sure plenty of people out there have, and that could be very, very frustrating. And then also, I did want to make bring up this one big caveat. Audacity 3. Point whatever, in this case 3.1, it can open AUP files. That's their unique file type that they use, created in older versions. So 2. Point whatever point whatever. But if you save a new project, in 3.1 and so on and so forth, that's going to prevent it from opening again in old versions of Audacity 2. Point whatever point whatever. So please keep that in mind because I have a whole bunch of files that are the other way around. They're the old files. But if you said, you know, I want to try 3.1 and then you revert back to an old version like Dark Audacity or something, then you might have some issues that could arise trying to get some of your old work to open. But outside of that, this is really cool, really well done for a open source project, you know, a free piece of software. Like I said, I'm an Adobe Audition kind of guy, but I do use Audacity and I try to 
keep up and understand it because a lot of people I work with, they're going to be using free software and they're usually going to be using Audacity. And so if that's the case, I need to know what I'm doing to a certain extent on there so I can help coach them through certain issues, concerns, show them how to do things on a piece of software that they can pick up for free. So I think this is really good. And let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Thank you.